right, let's go. Sprawls and spins. Gosh, did somebody knock a trash can over? <laughs> that sounded like a trash can getting knocked over. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. Yeah, that was a, a microwave die kick. There's not enough room to do spins, so I did it. And uh, got a nice wheel kick on the microwave. <laughs> All right. Week five, gosh, you know what? I think this is week, this is week six. This is week six, and um, our screen says week five. That's pretty impressive, week six. <clears throat> and I'm, I, my back is just too tight today. I'm going to do some uh, of that grip stuff and some of the weightlifting with you guys, but moving is a little tough for me today. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go. I'll fix the screen, but you guys are up. One minute. Woo, nice. Thirty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Sometimes uh, when it comes to doing like the sprawls, uh, where your arms are are somewhat important. Like so, for instance, if your arms are are out like this and then you go to sprawl and then your arms just end up like on top of the person it's not as effective as if you kept your elbows in and when they go to shoot and you sprawl your arms can intercept like for instance um like a sprawl doesn't have to be just you land on top it could be like a cross face while you're sprawling it can be you can get an underhook you can get a guillotine. There's a lot of things you could do with your arms when you're sprawling. So think about your arms too. Just don't sprawl just to sprawl. All right, we have back step pass. I like to mix this up. Like I'll do some on my feet, the balls of my feet. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll get down on my knees and just stay tight. You know, how tight can I stay to my guy?
30 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. If uh, if we had an outdoors grapple fit class where I had mats outside and everybody either had their own mat. They had their own dummy. You wouldn't have to bring your own dummy. Would that be something that you guys would be interested in trying? I think that day is coming coming up soon. I'm already doing it with kickboxers. I'm pushing heavy bags out front and giving everybody two parking spaces a piece, and we're having a lot of fun out there. All right, here comes your X pass. So you just get your leg up the heck out of the way, and then you bring it around, and you do a knee on belly. Woo! That's right. Good job, Talia. That's perfect. Nice, Eric. Good. Nice. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So when we do arm bars from the mount, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to give you guys a couple options. One is you could do your Americanas if you want, right? You can also do that, uh, that Juji Katami or that straight arm bar where you're going for one, they resist and you jump on over to the other one. Um, do you want me to show you guys that again, or do you know what I'm talking about? This would be something like in the 10.30 hour, which I would love to show you guys. But the idea is, like, let's say you go here, and it's just like, nope, you're not going to get it. So what you do is you come around to the other arm and go like that. It's... It's pretty intuitive. Give it a shot. Go for go for one arm, and then it's like, okay, you're not giving it to me. You're not giving it to me. Whoop, just go right to the other arm. All right, give it a shot. Let me see what you guys look like. So it's like not working, not working, not working. All of a sudden, all right, just bust around. You go towards the body. That's it, like that. Good. Good. Nice, Talia. That's it. Ten, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. So that's a little hard to do when you don't have a partner who's giving you the reaction that you need. You know, the dummy just stays flat on its back and we have to sort of improvise. So that makes it a little bit harder, but when somebody like reaches with their far side arm or they turn their shoulders or heist, which is what that move's called when, when you pull like this, um, that arm on the other side presents itself. And that's, that's something that will happen for you if it hasn't already happened for you in jujitsu. So uh, this next up is around the world. You can, you can do what we just did. You can do a little more of that if you want. You can improvise. You can do whatever you want. It's around the world time. This is the chance for you to do any move you want, uh, however you want. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. You guys like those, uh, I call them switch jujis. It, it basically is going from an S mount on one side to the other, uh, the S mount on the other side, quickly and efficiently. Looks kind of like, like, here's my S mount here. And then watch how easy it is just to go to the other side. There's my S mount on the other side. See here, here, here. Here, you guys see that? Just do an S mount from one side to the other. All right, we got uh, bent over rows. Bent over rows, you got might have to flip your dummy over. I also just realized 
a mistake I've made. And that is in the rest. We can't be doing this minute rest like we are. That has to be changed. I, I, I'll make sure that uh, Thursday's workout is, is right. It's a little late for me to go in there and push some buttons and change that up. But I've also enjoyed the extra time to talk and explain some things as well. So Thursday, I won't be able to do that as much. I'll still get in what I got to get in. I mean, Talia, you know, in the hit classes, I could talk in 10 seconds. Right? <laughs> I can get a lot in 10 seconds. All right. So, uh, oh, shit. That says Ogoshis, doesn't it? Don't do, don't do those Ogoshis. Uh, do the, uh, oh, shit. Uh, just go to the kneeling presses. Do, this, do the military. All right. Just do the military. That's a mistake. That Ogoshi should not be in there. How is that Ogoshi's doing in there? Arm grips. One arm rows. Presses. Oh, deadlifts. Did I forget the deadlifts? Yeah, I forgot the deadlifts. Three, two, one. All right. That's okay. We'll do deadlifts next. Sorry about that, guys. I just thought that Ogoshi thing was a little messy. I, I, you know, I, I can see us doing it. It's just maybe in a gym when we have more space. And also the squats that we do with the dummy on our hip are a little awkward and you can't really squat deep enough. I like that, Eric. That's cool. Is that going to be your deadlift position? All right. I, I guess so. I just randomly did it. There you go. Seems like it works. Work. Five seconds. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> All right. Well, give me a second here. So uh, we still have one arm grips ahead of us. 
and my timer is messed up here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, we're going to use the next set. It might say sprawls and spins, but ignore it. Just do the one arm grips. Okay, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, one arm grips. Five seconds. All right. Gosh, you guys should have seen yesterday's uh, advanced hit workout, the glitches we had. Actually, Talia, you did see. Uh, I, I have an answer to these technical problems, and that is just videotaping filming or uh, just recording the green and the red screen and the print and then overlaying the zoom on top of that instead of doing like a live like screen share with the phone app that's really been messing me up <clears throat> when this app messes up it's just a mess so we're on uh sprawls and spins Remember, keep your hands in front, keep your elbows down. Think about intercepting your arms in their face or under their, under their shoulder or maybe even a guillotine. Ten seconds. Time. All right. Back step pass. <clears throat> I like to get some time, some, sometimes a little loose with this and stand and squat and then just stay on the balls of my feet and really just take big, fast steps and just glue my hips to their hip. And then sometimes I like to just squeeze their head with my knees and tighten up my body around their arms and just like pivot or 
in a tight, tight place, giving them no space. And I go a little slower. So I just kind of like, just stay tight. And I, boom, I stay, and I just do that back step. And I come back tight, I do a back step. So two, oh shit, yeah, Toriana. So, yep, sorry. Thirty seconds. Twenty, nineteen. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One time. All right. Technology. There we go. I'm, I, you know, I'm just amazed I've gotten this far. That list, look at that. Uh. Almost there, guys. Seven seconds. We've got uh, now the back step pass. All right, back step pass. Make sure this right leg gets back there, Talia. <clears throat> so that right leg, get it back, get it back. Yeah, like that. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the subtleties and how far back your back your back step goes is really understood in a judo class. And I say that because, like in judo, one avenue to victory is the pin, the case of Gatami, a way of holding somebody down. If we can hold side control, we win if we can do it for 25 seconds. So you spend more time in those positions. You're more time in the saddle and you're learning that and just doing it more so than in a jujitsu class. So when you're off just by an inch or two and somebody escapes, you learn from that. And, and I'll talk more about that in just a little bit, okay? But uh, we got their X pass next, right? X pass. Good. 
Good. That looks really sharp, guys. Nice, Eric. Woo! Woo! Good. X passes are fun. Especially if you can catch somebody trying to like half guard you right in the right before they lock it in. You just bust that leg up out of there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten. All right, so so this leg right here is my is think of it as my my back step, right? Now in judo, if I'm holding somebody down with this position. And this leg is maybe just an inch or two this way. It can create a weakness that can be exploited. And you will feel and learn, you'll learn this from being the person holding somebody down. And you'll learn this from being the person being held down. And the only way to really get that is to, is to have a person on you. So you can see and feel it, all right? And we will get there one day. But trust me, like the bigger your back step is, the wider and stronger your base is. All right, arm bars. Try that uh, switch juji. If, you know, that's a new move for us. It's just you put yourself in an S mount and you're like, okay, okay, okay. And you just switch to the other side as quick as you can. Woo, nice. Good, Talia. You got you got a good camera angle. I can see everything clearly. Nice. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. All righty. I love that switch, Juji. That's going to come in handy. You know, another armbar. I want to show you guys eventually is a, a real subtle arm bar. Works kind of like this. Where you're sort of like in a side control and you come up and you get this arm right here. Can you guys see that right there? This, this right here, here, here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show that to you guys maybe at the end because we could put that in. That's a really cool move. Um, what are we on? Around the world now? Yeah, we're on around the world. Oh, I like that. That's good too. Hey, so Talia was doing like a side control. And she just jumped up into an arm bar, Eric. North, south. Woo, good. I like that too, Talia. I try to trap the arm under my stomach at the end. Good, 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 good. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Gosh. It's going to be nice doing this on humans. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. This uh, screen share thing is just getting like ridiculous. Yesterday, somebody couldn't even log in. She said she upgraded her Zoom and it messed her up. She couldn't log in. All right, bent over rows. Ten seconds. All right, time. I'm still just getting 12s on each arm for that, and they're pretty challenging. My, uh, my loop that's around his head has gotten kind of some slack in it. So I'm like, instead of like pulling it slow, I'm kind of snapping it up, trying to get power out of my row. Instead of just, you know what I mean? Instead of just strength, you know, power is strength plus speed. You know what I mean? It's like, and you gotta be careful. If you put speed into something that's too heavy, you can pull a muscle, you can hurt yourself. So. You got to know what you're kind of doing with that kind of stuff. But all right, next up, deadlifts.
10 seconds. Three, two, one. So we have one more set. See if I can pause this. Can I pause it? Oh, I can pause it. Oh, yeah, can I go backwards? No, I can't go backwards. Can I unpause it? I'll figure this out. So we just have our grips, right? The kneeling push -ups. Oh, that's right. that's right. Jeez. All right. So when this when this comes to an end, I'm gonna have to restart it. I think. All right, get ready. Kneel and presses. Right. Hey, give some thought to next uh, or this Thursday coming on, on around 1030. <clears throat> It'll be like a good technical hour for us to try some stuff, you know, and if if it's incompatible with Joe, I'll figure something out with with, with this. Because there, there's more advanced stuff, stuff I need time to do, stuff I need, you know, like there's some techniques that we could benefit from, some chokes, some setups, some interesting combinations and strategies. All right, here we go. One arm grips.
bring it in, bring it in. Whew. All right, well, I didn't get sweaty with you guys today, and I'm sorry about that. I, uh, I'm still feeling yesterday's workout, Talia.